create a whole community of 100 to 150 people with all kinds of mentors and people from different backgrounds yeah, that it's, support it's, each other. It's a wonder. It's a fabulous concept, a and I think that uh, if if you think that people being divided by age, by class, by race is an issue, then I think you've made some some serious steps to trying to Thanks. to address that. I, I really do. Uh, Tom Pollack, uh, we have one more person here I, I want to introduce, uh, and uh, you've done some really interesting things in Danville. And again, we, a little bit later, we'll, we'll maybe go into some more detail about uh, a particular project that you have done. But tell me, as, a, as someone who is a developer, how you think about housing and how you think about what the, what the need is. Well, I'm intrigued with the title developer because I'm the executive director of Crosspoint that serves persons with mental illness, developmental disabilities, um, women and children who are homeless and are experiencing domestic violence. And what we've learned in working with folks is that therapies and medications can do wonders, but if you don't have a safe, affordable house to live in, with good neighbors and access to amenities that we all enjoy in the community, um, you don't have the stability to see through your recovery. And so it's become an essential element to um, achieving uh, recovery for the people we serve. Uh, that we have all ranges of houses from 24 hour staff supervised to completely independent, integrated housing in the community. Mm -hmm. What you know, we talk. To, we can talk about the ways in which w government, the the private sector, tries to respond to this need. But let me come back again t 